boxed up Zane's pa uh, Pac-Man, and yeah, I'm seeing Pokemon Trainer. Yeah, Zane was actually going Wario the last set versus um what? versus Flaff, and then he changed over Pac-Man. He promised he was going to be going Pac-Man. Pac you know what? I've had enough of his lies. Of his lies. He's been playing only Pac-Man, Pokemon Trainer, and Wire this whole tournament. Uh, anyway, is so, Slink going to be going with Glickdo? <laughs> Honestly, this was a ridiculously difficult matchup for Glickdo. So difficult to hit Squiggle, so difficult just to keep Squiggle out of his area of effect. And honestly, once Squiggle gets in on Glickdo, Squiggle gets in. Like, look, yeah, Zane is just... <laughs> Zane is just like sitting at center stage waiting for Slink to come into something. But now gonna be going Ivy so um interesting know. choice, really. Cause like I would assume um like I understand like there's that uh compulsion that you're like, okay, I really don't wanna play this matchup. I don't wanna play as Squirtle if I'm at any risk of dying because Squirtle's so light. But like you don't wanna be super predictable like with when you change either. Yeah. Oh, Oh, Zane was trying to anticipate like an air dodge out and like a panic option out, like trying to get ready for like an up smash or something. I like yeah. the idea though, but uh, Slink was just like one step uh, one step ahead, I think. Yep. Of course, Belmont's our peak Wi Fi. That's the second time like Slink has uh, hit Zane's shield. Ooh. Nice up air. Yeah, yeah. Like Zane was like so confident that he was gonna jump out of the corner then. Um, so like like now that he has like that note in his head, um, it's gonna be up to Zane to capitalize on it and for Slink to try to uh, mix it up a couple of times. <laughs> that tip with Florida is menacing. I like the use of the um, cross to like sort of cover the ground, but I feel like Slink kind of unnecessarily put himself into the coin and then now he's like forced to fight out of it. Yeah. Belmont definitely lacks an option to get out of the coin. Something that you saw there was that despite being at 0% Apollo was able to use, was able to smash the eye upwards and out of the, uh, the holy water. Uh, which is really important in this matchup because if you can make it difficult for uh, for Richter or Simon to get their uh, to get their whip at their max distance or just generally like try to spot it, uh, it can be really it really makes a difference in like how well you play the matchup. And man, this guy is gone. He's donezo. That is so cool. I love it here. <laughs> wow. He just he just got pushed away. That is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Um, at any rate, yeah, already 46%. Oh, that was really smart. Like, normally you'd go for, like, down air into up B, but, like, you know, if you just went through the option coverage instead and said, just going through the boomerang, but able to actually armor through. Squirtle's water gun is so good in this matchup. You're just forcing them to shield in the corner, otherwise they're just gonna get blown away. Yeah. Zane's, Zane's use water, of water gun, gun is, mm -hmm. is impeccable. Yeah, Water Guns are very useful in this matchup just because it does uh, offer, it does kind of force Richter to come back low. And if you read the low return, it is very easy to get a, a kill using an IV Sword. So, like, it really does kind of hurt um, Richter's options for coming back. But, man, basically, Charizard get a third kill? No. Okay, I was expecting the back here, really. Yeah, Zane didn't really, like, he was anticipating, like, more low recovery, so he went to go recovery that instead. Um, huh? But anyways, yeah, this is definitely his game to take 106%. Anything chosen that can do at this point. Oh. Boomerang! Okay, he was at the edge of the screen, and he looked like he'd be at it off the way, so... Oh, I should... I'll Ooh. smash between a kill there, huh? I mean, it, w it would have definitely killed him. I'm surprised I don't he think it would have reached that far to the side. I mean, he could have just dashed next to him. He does have, like, a good amount of horizontal range, I'm pretty sure. Although, Devin would probably know better. If he could tell us. Oh, yeah. Eh? Yeah, he's sort of up smash. Oh, oh, he's dead! He lost! No! Uh, I'm sort of up smash. Does it have good, uh, hard ball range? I'm pretty sure it can scoop, it's, can't it? It's kind of big. Yeah. So you could have, uh, you could have just ran up and did, uh, you could have done a hype and smash up smash. With, uh, with Ivy Spur, and that would have definitely been the stock, but that's unfortunate. It's 26 frames, but, I mean... Yeah, but it was, uh, Richter landing out of up B. Oh. And he would have landed on a pl it was on top of a pl it was onto a platform. So oh, I can't hit a platform, I don't think. Really? Yeah. On no. I'm PS2? Oh, no. crazy. Okay. PS2? Of course you can. I can be up smash. Are you sure? I don't think that's a thing. I feel like I've seen it before. 
Huh. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll check it out a little bit later, I guess. Yeah, I think towards the end, Zane just like was like, yo, I, I have this lead. There's no way I'm going to lose. And then just started pressing flare blitz from the other side of the stage. <laughs> hey, Devin, so, uh, how many packets did Slick drop? I, I mean, I'll check the last replay. Please and thank you. Yeah, 15. Uh, in the last, by the time the last doc was there, so yeah. Is that I mean, a lot of packets? It depends. Hey guys, if you're having issues with the tournament match, please ask in the actual tournament match, not inside the friggin' um, Twitch. Not inside the the, the chat Twitch of chat. the event, the Twitch chat, because yeah. Check where Slank is from. Ready? No, it looks like it looks like Apollo's just gonna keep going. Yeah, well, I'm I'm here for it. I think Apollo definitely had the game. I'm just got like a little bit antsy at the end. I don't know if it I saw like, any lag in the spell. I don't know what happened. One, go. Take this. Go. Take this. Back to PS2. Uh, the button check? No, no. That's just that's just Zane being so confident that they could get stuck by doing absolutely nothing. And he did get the stock by doing absolutely nothing. What the hell? Wait, I looked away. What do you, wait? What happened? I was so like, literally, Apollo just swung at the air, and uh, Slink put himself over the edge by mistake, and then. No way. And then he just did squirtle things to get him under the stage. Wait, I legit wasn't looking. What? It was five seconds. Yeah, he did squirtle things to get him under the stage, and he just bonked his head on the, underneath PS2. Bonk. Yeah, that what, happens. What was the sound effect? That, I'm, uh, not gonna, I'm not going to play that. <laughs> not right now. It's not even applicable. Oh, the squirtle water gun in this matchup is so good. Just forces them into the corner. Belmont has really awful out of ledge options, especially against Pokemon trading. Wow. I actually, I really, really applaud like Zane's usage of it in the matchup. Ooh, that movement to come back in, past the Holy Fire and everything else, very nice. And yet, Paulo just not letting himself get caught in the fires to get to give him the easy stock. That, yeah. that was too close. He couldn't do anything there. Yeah, and it was, it was like too early in the holy, uh, holy water too. Um, definitely just like did not have enough time to either. But again, like using this water gun just to create space and forcing Slink into the corner. That's so dangerous. Like, the fact that he just went off the stage with, uh, with down tilt like so dangerous to do, especially against Squirtle. Because mm -hmm. even a no charge, uh, if, if you hit him with a no charge water gun, when he was moving outwards, it probably would have meant death like immediately. And yeah, um, Apollo just can't seem to get back in. I don't understand why you're going trainer, dude. Why are you going trainer? Why did he neutral? I mean, I mean, I feel okay. I think Zane had a good way of getting off the ledge the last time with where they did like jump neutral air dodge. That was pretty good. I don't know why they went for neutral get up multiple times. I mean, honestly, it could just be kind of like I don't know. Again, Zane the mix up. This I time he's probably the eye though. Slink getting too greedy with the F Smash trying to charge it longer. I think Apollo's just expecting to be able to get like past the holy water for like free, but like that's obviously not the case. And if you keep taking those hits, you're gonna die! Come on! Yo, I'm not gonna lie, that game kinda makes me. That was sus. That was so sus. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't know what to what to say about that. That was like so sus. Like, Apollo, what are you doing? Yeah, that was not my favorite game to watch. Hey, like, it's even worse because, like, Apollo could have called for a lag test and, like, they chose not to. And it's like, they would have, we would have done the test. That's not really an issue. We can do that. Uh, just because somebody, like, you know, you might have noticed in that last game, they weren't dropping, like, they weren't dropping packets. Like, there was only one packet dropped for that whole last match. It was, only, it was coming from Apollo. Yeah. 
Sometimes people's uh, internets are just really unstable. But uh, yes, Link takes it 2-0, and that's all that they wrote. All right, we're going to have uh, Ralphie versus uh, up next. Ralphie versus uh? Yes. Oh, boy. You know what time it is. Yeah, it is that time. 